Hey there guys, and welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. It's time for the final new subspecies that we'll encounter over the course of this LP, and that is the Ivory Logiagris. One of the pseudo-mascots of the game, I guess. Because uh, I think in Japan, Brachydeus and Ivory Logiagris were kind of like the big deal. And overseas, they apparently went with the Azurathalos for no particular reason. Anyway... The Ivory Longicris is also presented in the story as the arch-nemesis of the village chief. So we're gonna throw him a bone by killing that thing for him, I guess. And... Always starts out in Area 7. Now the main difference between the regular Longicris and the Ivory one is that the Ivory one pretty much spends all of its time on land. You will rarely fight that thing underwater. Which is great, because I really don't like fighting that thing underwater. Also, I ate for Feline Weakener, so it should be a pretty easy fight. Because, you know, Longiacris, or Ivory or not, it's still a Longiacris, and Longiacris on land is just not quite difficult. Anyway, once again being the crazy pyramid-looking Gunlands thing, because Ivory Longiacris, I think, is weakest to Dragon, but Fire Weapons will also do just fine. I just went with this one because it was the strongest thing I had. So, alright, go to Area 7. Let's bring this beastie down. Huh, it's not here. Oh, but a couple Jaggies are. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. Jaggies, you might want to start running. Oh, jeez. Yikes. Jaggy, just don't. Don't antagonize it. No, that is not a good idea. Oh, crap. Don't say I didn't warn you, Jaggies. Those idiots never learn. It's like the Jaggies get their ass kicked by every monster in the videos. Like the Devil Joe, the Kurapeko, Baroth. They all have something against the Jaggies. Anyway, this is the Ivory Logiacris. Just a, a Logiacris, but white. I say, I do like the color scheme. It really works for him. But yeah, let's do this. So he does have... A couple of different moves, because, you know, if he just had Logiacris' regular moves when he's on land, he'd be an absolute pushover. No, he's got, a f like, three or four or five new moves. Got a whole varied arsenal. Oh, crap, I have no ammo. Reload. Yes, yes, you like to roar. We know that by now. All right, go for the tail. Oh, crap. Not good. You can pretty much do those discharges that Logiacris does underwater, but do them on land. And it has two different variations. One that has, uh, well, basically one that charges quite fast, but it doesn't really have much range on it. And one that charges really slowly, but pretty much engulfs nearly the entire damn area. Think that, but like two or three times as wide. Crap. Oh, come on again? Yep, this is the big one. I think. Big one goes on forever as well. Alright. What else? Oh yeah, he also had that electric belly slide, which he did a couple seconds ago. And that. Fast turning around, biting move for if you're attacking its side. Oh crap. Oh, just in time. You bounce off of its head with blue sharpness, which is pretty annoying. Can put you in quite a hazardous situation sometimes. Oh, he just really wants to kill a Cha-Cha there. Well, by all means. Also, this is... All, this monster also plays a part in the story of Kayamba's golden mask thingy. Because we had to fight the Zenogre to charge it up with lightning, but the Zenogre wasn't strong enough, so they figured, oh, the Ivory Logicus probably is. Oh, yes, got that move, a lightning ball that pretty much causes... It. Oh, nice! That was really quick. Not mining, that Logiacris tail. Why not a plate or a ruby or... Oh wait, Logiacrises have sapphires, I think. Not rubies. Rubies are like Rathalos. I guess they're the Groudon and Kyogre of this game. Oh crap. Ah, what? Apparently that one is unblockable. Pretty sure I blocked that before, though. Might have been with one of my guard-up armors. So yeah, it can do that do uh, the triple lightning shot and keep walking backwards all the time. It's definitely a lot more dangerous than the regular one. 
But still, it's not the hardest monster there is. I'd say. Ooh, blocked it. Not gonna happen. Oh, crap. No, it's only the small one. That's not a problem. Ooh, nice. Shoot him in the throat. Always works. Uh-oh. Oh, got it. Did it- wait, did I block it or did it just downright overshoot me? Because I could have sworn I was reloading. Oh, nice, there goes the chest. Yeah, breakable parts, as with most subspecies, are pretty much exactly the same as the regular one. Horns, claws, chest, spikes on his back, and you can cut his tail off. And I need to heal. Alright. Doing pretty good so far. I mean, I can't get over how fast we got his tail off. I mean, that was like within five minutes. That makes it just great fighting this guy, because getting rid of his tail is so easy. Like, it's a little bit harder with the regular log Eucharist. Ah, crap. He got up too soon. It's not that easy cutting the tail off of the regular log Eucharist, because it spends way too much time underwater, where its tail moves around way too much. I know I need to sharpen real quick, which looks kind of stupid if with, you're wearing the shield on your right arm. It's like it's just sharpening it with the shield. Oh, crap. Not good. Eh. Could have sworn I put the block up. Oh, oh, come on, again? Jump back, jump back. Nice. And now slowly inch over there again. Oh. Ah, crap. Oh, I did block it. So it has that Ignactor body slide, which... Does regular Log Eakers have that on land? It's been ages since I fought the regular one. Not... Oh, nice. No discharge for you, sir. No, instead I will just break your claws and just... Deny you that right. Oh crap, here he comes again. Isn't he out of juice yet? Jeez. He's got a lot of electricity stored up in there. Because eventually he will get tired and he pretty much won't be able to do the discharges anymore, which really helps. Oh, and he just left the six. Guess he wants to go kill some more Jaggies. Which I am not completely against, because Jaggies are a pain in the ass and deserve to be exterminated. Oh, he's eating. Right then. The Jagia doesn't seem all too happy about it, so let's help them out. Ah, crap, the Wyvern Fire is not reloaded yet. Okay, then we'll just do the regular combos and stuff. Alright, what are you gonna do? Oh, crap. Thanks a lot, Jagia. Not helping. Ah, that bite. And a Wyvern Tear, of course. I never get anything good from those. Ah, oh, come on! Wonky hitboxes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was just unfair. Freaking Thunder Blight getting you stunned all the damn time. Why did I forget Null Berries? Oh, well. I'll be fine. Shields? Nice. Oh, crap. Oh, that Jaggy is gonna get it. And Mega Potion. Again? Well, Chacha walked right into it, stupid idiot. Also, I got a new mask for Chacha. He's wearing the Rathalos mask, which allows him to shoot fireballs like that and pretty much do like a Sonic Bomb-esque roar if you push the button on the gamepad. Which can be pretty helpful. But he just loves to shoot me with those fireballs instead. He hasn't done it yet in this episode. Oh, there we go, there. Just about to discuss it, and he freaking does it. You're so predictable, Chacha. But those can definitely be helpful. I'm pretty sure they also do actual fire damage, so against monsters that are weak to fire, like this one, it's probably a pretty good idea to slap that mask on either one of those two numbskulls. Anyway, sharpen again. Have to keep... Oh, crap. And I didn't even finish sharpening in time. Lovely. Right, run, run, run. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. Uh, let's just take shelter behind here for a moment. That should be... Enough to protect me for a couple seconds. Potion. Oh, crap. He's just gonna go right through it, I wonder. Yep, he's definitely trying. Oh, come on! He just shot his Thunderbolt straight through the damn rock. That is bull crap. So much for protection. Oh. Oh, I just wonder if he's gonna do the discharge again. Come on. Can I just break his spines, maybe? Those are usually the hardest part to break on this guy, because they're kind of tricky to reach. 
Except, of course, for when you knock him down. Running, running. And you, I'll never make it around. I'll just poke the head. Crap, he gets up the wrong way all the damn time. Oh, shield. Nice. Another one. And number three. It's definitely taking the hell out of my stamina bar blocking all of those. But it beats taking damage. Be wary of the tail, because even though I cut off a piece, it's still pretty long. So its tail swings are still dangerous. Unlike, say, the uh, Rathalos or something. Rathalos' tail swing really gets neutered if you take its tail off. Or battery off. And just up and over. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, come on. So much range on those explosions. Oh, they took one. For me, even though I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have hit me anyway, because I was just getting up. Then again, you never know with this game. Just loves to screw with you sometimes. Oh, nice, Cha Cha. Fireball to the chest, stunned him. See, that mask is helpful. Whoa, limping already. That's damn quick. Crap, I hope he's not gonna jump underwater. Damn it, Cha Cha, your fireball was too slow. Alright, please don't dive in. Because it will go underwater sometimes. Usually when it's tired, it will like jump from here to 11 and then I think make its way to 12 because that is... God damn it, Cha-Cha, you did it again. Oh crap. Oh, that went absolutely nowhere. Nice. Doing good. Damn it, I hate that move so much. It's got pretty fast. Oh, nice. Kayamba, I think, broke his... Spines? No, they're not glowing anymore. They don't really seem that broken, though. Seem pretty intact. Or maybe he just broke his right claws or something. I don't know. Slam down. Ah, oh, come on. I wanted to kill him with the shooting. Oh, well. Jeez, that was damn fast. That was, like, just over 12 minutes. But I didn't engage into the fight until, like, 2 minutes in. So, like, 10 minutes. That is really fast. Now I get some hide from him, and another hide. At least he gave me three of the same things. Especially not something that's as common as a hide. Well, a scale, that's not much better. Well, that went pretty well. Oh, wow, thank you, Cha Cha. I definitely needed a recovery speed boost right now. Anyway, this calls for celebrations. We have slain the village chief's nemesis, and he will now be super grateful. Will likely get a crap ton of money because you know we fulfilled his lifelong dream or something, or we probably won't get, or we'll, we'll barely get any money. Wait, what? A oh, freaking jaggy! Oh, there we go. Cha Cha got him. Nice one, Cha Cha. You got my back. You my wingman. All right, let's see what rewards we get. Hope there's something rare in there. Really, really do because Longia Chris's have especially been stingy towards me. With their rare parts, and apparently this one is as well. Yeah, not really too much fancy stuff. Charms, are they any good? Of course they are not. Like, they're never useful. Pretty short one as well. Alright, something to the gallery, more to the gallery. Lots of things, and the Platinum Blade Award. No, that's not an actual sword for you to use, it's just a thing on your hunter license. Yeah, I know, kinda lame. Kill the Cideus, get a long sword. Kill the Ivory Logicris, get a fake sword that you can only put on your hunting pass or something. Anyway, there's Kayamba with his fancy mask that's all charged up now. Shaking his ass, because that's really all he's good for. Alright, ultimate mask. You have a shiny solid gold mask now. It's the same mask that they discovered in a cave and that they've been fighting over ever since. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that was a Rathlos quest, like, before the Zenogar one that had you taking the mask back. Which I skipped because, you know, we fought Rathlos already. What do we get now? Ooh, video. Hey, that's the mask. Looks kind of creepy. Big bug eyes. Though it does look kind of cool, like, the, like Egyptian pharaoh style. Oh, boy, what are those two Inca poops going to do? Ah, they both want to have it. It's Cha-Cha's now. Oh, come on, guys. You can share it. You can wear it, like, the every other day. Like, Cha-Cha gets it on Monday, Tuesday, 
Or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Kayama gets it on the other days. Oh, way to go, jackasses. Oh, crap. Of course, jump into a stampeding herd of dinosaurs. That's always a good thing to do. Oh, yeah, this is the, uh, the intro for Monster Hunter Try. That was pretty cool that they changed it like this. Ah, they're riding a jaggy. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, Cha-Cha. Oh, he is done for. How is he still alive? Torn apart by freaking Ludroths. All right, Kayamba, you almost have it. Oh, crap, here comes the big one. Hey, how did he get onto the Great Jaggy? Thought he was underwater. Oh, things just go from bad to worse. Where's the mask? Oh, it's still stuck in the Aptonoth's horns. Yeah, that's kind of tough to get to with the stampeding Rathalos all around it. Oh, boy. Ew, that Jaggy got a face full of flames there. Oh, crap, Loggy, Chris. Things just keep escalating. Oh, jeez. And away they go. And where are Chacha and Kayamba exactly? Are they still on the thing? Yeah, they are. Hanging on to the Aptonoth tail. Or on its midsection, whatever. Oh, those silly bastards. Their antics amuse me to no end. Oh, yikes, he's definitely putting the speed up. Oh no, hang on, Kayama. Hey, group of people. Oh no, Kayama, no. Wait. So he ends up with them, and they just abandon him in the jungle somewhere? That's kind of mean. Anyway... Yeah, they pretty much recycled the intro for Monster Hunter Try. Made it ultimate with Chacha's little stamp thing there. Oh. Oh, and there goes Chacha. Oh, so that's how they lost the mask in the first place. And that's how Chacha ended up where you find him, like, early in the game. Having to rescue him from the Jagia. Well, that was pretty funny. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate.